Moncton, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yes, yes, for those that, uh, that don't know, uh, uh, Jeffrey Wright's character, Je Jeffrey Wright. <laughs> Honestly, Jeffrey Wright looks like uh, my, my, my friend Martin from uh, Double Toast. You just put these two guys side by side, Chaz. It's like, I, I, don't, I don't know which one's which. <laughs> which. Which one do I shoot? I don't know. <laughs> Who's the evil Martin? I'm not sure. I'll admit. I, I wasn't sure that I would have the time to uh, see this movie, American Fiction, anytime soon. You know, it, it originally had a pretty limited release initially, and it had its wide release just like a few weeks ago, when I was just swamped with, with so much work uh, and so many other things on top of that. But a last-minute call from a good friend and a free ticket incentivized me to finally check out American Fiction. And for those that need a little bit of a, of a background, a little bit of history, uh, the film follows a talented writer and professor who struggles to find success in his chosen field and is very disdainful of the stereotypical black entertainment, but inevitably earns the fame and riches by actively engaging in it with his writing. At the top, I just want to say I completely identify with Jeffrey Wright's character of Thelonious Ellison, or Monk, as he prefers to go by since people struggle to say his name in the film. And, and I'm sure some people watching this will say, Chris, how can you identify with Monk? You're not black, again, in case you can't tell, and you haven't lived the black American experience. And uh, how that you know can sometimes or even often be of of exploitation um and that is certainly a part of of this movie but that is not the only thing emphasized in the film um you know the character of, of, of monk is someone who has grown uh bitter and 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 jaded and resentful because of what he has observed in his chosen field you know, he produces good work, as many of the supporting characters say in the film, but he's choosing not to pander or, or chase after something using the methods of, of, of content and, and individuals who he believes, and one could also objectively state, are, are just lazy, inauthentic, and even gross in some circumstances. Uh, although he is flawed and has his own like host of issues, he wants to be earnest and, and honest with, with his work. And when he sees someone who is just inauthentic, exploitive, and, and scraping the bottom of the barrel to maintain success, it just, it just eats him alive. It kills him inside. Personally, I really identified with that. You know, for example, you have all these film, television, comedy, uh, the arts channels that pop up and, and, and do their own reviews and, and shows. But over time, you know, I feel like they make a switch to drama, outrage content, anti-woke uh, content and videos, and their viewership and their subscribers skyrocket to tens of thousands, to hundreds of thousands, even millions. Even if their presentation and personality and content is just gross you know, or, or again, inauthentic or, or exploitive. They, they chase that thing and were very quickly rewarded for it, especially with economic security. And, and, and that is frustrating and, and sad. And I, I could identify with that. Like I can look at some of these people's channels. Like I, I was always, I've always been curious about that. Like I've looked at this person's channel, someone pops up, I notice like their videos look like a certain other YouTubers videos. I then go into their channel. I, I like to like kind of click on their older content and it starts out, it starts out just as you would expect, like them doing reviews and having a passion for it. And then they do that odd video talking about the latest dramatic thing or something that is quote unquote woke or whatever it might be, right? And then boom, that video hits. And then after that, it's, it's more than just one video a week covering that. It's now two, it's three. And those reviews and everything else, this falls by the wayside. And, and it's just them doing that kind of thing. And I'm like, I hate that kind of content because I think it's boring. I think it's dull. I don't think it's earnest. 
I do think it's inauthentic, and I think a lot of times, uh, most of the times, it, it's quite gross. And it's just like, is this really what people just want? <laughs> really? This this is what you desire? And, 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 and then it's just pushed. It's cultivated it's because of the algorithm. Apparently, it likes that, too. Um... So I, I again, you know, I I I I, I totally understand uh, Jeffrey Wright's character's perspective in 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 this, and uh, I completely identified with it, and I understood his bitterness, his jadedness throughout the in, entire movie, especially when he indulges in the things that he he so resents. You know, that aside, um, you know, you have a fantastic, exasperated performance by Jeffrey Wright who finally engages in the thing that he resents most, which is the most stereotypical, racist book about black people ever. Just, just a plethora of stereotypical slang that would make the writer of Thor Miles Morales blush, you know, by Odin's fade indeed. And, and Monk, Jeffrey Wright, is, is instantly rewarded for it. <laughs> And achieves the success he's always wanted only to grapple again with the resentment and and that self-loathing um you also have this whole familial side of the movie too you know monk has isolated himself uh, from his family for a whole host of reasons uh some of that you know are, are i think are very understandable and I think play a role into who into his own resentment. You know, you have a, a tragic situation with with his uh, mother Agnes, played by uh, Leslie Uggams, and 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 she has uh, Alzheimer's. And you have like another tragedy on on top of that. And you know, Monk's relationship with his brother uh, Cliff, who's played by Shirley K. Brown, who gives just a a great performance throughout this entire movie. And their relationship is probably the most dynamic and in interesting relationship uh, throughout the entire film. Uh, Issa Rae is also quite good as, as a fellow author who is also in, in, has engaged in pandering and exploitness that like Monk resents. But there are some like surprising reveals about, about her. And we get a great exchange with them in the film when, when talking about their, <laughs> their shitty books. Uh, the entire cast, you know, including Tracy Ellis Ross and John Ortiz, Erica Alexander, Adam Brody, and, and Keith David are all very, very good. I think people are going to really like uh, Keith David's uh, character of Willie the Wonker, uh, a character that Monk kind of like imagines as he like writes his, his ridiculous book that's filled with, you know, stereotypes, the most, the most egregious stereotypes uh, imaginable. And I think I, I should have mentioned this at the top. I, I should have emphasized this at the top of the review. Uh, but, but the movie is probably the best comedy uh, of the year of, of of 2023 of last year it's it's very much a political and and social satire uh, with poignant messages weaved throughout its narrative it, it doesn't stop the movie at any point to just stand on a soapbox uh, or, or talk down to anyone because I feel like lesser films do that I th it, it's too smart for that and in my opinion it effectively skewers the perspective of, of black people just being a monolith. And they're not just defined by their skin color. You know, that, that's what Monk is always saying in the film. Like, I'm a writer, all right? I'm not a black writer. And, and, he, and he doesn't want to be pigeonholed in, in that way. And there are a lot of great little scenarios <laughs> in the film uh, that 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 showcase that I don't I don't want to give too many of the jokes or the gags away, but there was this one scene that like really stood out to me, which I thought was quite funny, where he's he's uh, at a store and he sees his books, which are you know uh, in a in a certain section. It's in the uh, African American Studies section, but he's like, why is it there? That's not the genre. Of, of, of book that I wrote <laughs> it does it shouldn't be here it should be it should be over here <laughs> and so he's like taking the books he's like he's trying to like move them over to this other shelf the other side of the store and and I I thought I, again there's all there's so many different situations and scenarios that that happen in the movie that are are tackling just that it it rallies against pandering in film and, and television, social media, and, and, and in books. 
I think, in, incredibly well. Uh, so many wonderful uh, scenes just just like that in the film. But again, it, 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 it manages to have the comedy and also balance some really great uh, human drama with his with his friends and especially with his uh, his family his mother and 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 his brother which I don't want to give too much away because there's a lot of like you know reveals throughout the film for his family and how that's just been changing over time if if I have like any big criticisms of the movie I wasn't overly fond of the ending you know the film makes the choice and this is not really a spoiler but the film makes the choice to have multiple kind of what if type scenarios and it, it it just felt like they were unsure of how to end the movie and just figured, well, uh, let's do all of them. <laughs> and uh, it, I, I personally thought it was an odd choice uh, that I'm sure has a relevant meaning, but it just felt indecisive to me uh, to, uh, to a certain degree. However, again, I, I still think it's great and I would definitely recommend it to people that not only want to see just, you know, a good political satire, but just want to see a good uh, dramedy, a fantastic dramedy uh, with a lot to say, with something uh, to say. And, 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 and uh, that also focuses on, on, on the fact that you have so many different companies and mediums and people that, that just pander over and over and over again. And, and this movie is just like, we're not about that. <laughs> we're not. We're not about pandering. We're we're here to criticize it and, and skewer it. And I think that is uh, that was very poignant, especially for the, the times that we're living in, you know, right now. But I was I was very impressed with American Fiction for the most part, other than the ending, which again, like I said, it's a little indecisive. Uh, but overall, I I think it's great. I think it's incredibly well written. Um, I think Jeffrey Wright. Again, he's always been a talented actor, always been great. I think this might be his best performance of his entire career, at least of what I've seen from him. He's so, so good. Um, you know, Sterling K. Brown, I know he's probably better known for a lot of his television work. I'm excited to see him pop up in, in more movies and more, uh, like, well, you know, here's a supporting role, but also in more lead roles, so that's great. He, d he does a great job. And, and, and definitely from, more from this director, who I'm relatively unfamiliar with, uh, the director of the film is Core Jefferson, and I'm not sure what other films he's actually. This is okay. This is his theatrical debut, and uh, but he has worked on a number of of TV shows as a, as as a writer uh, and an editor and producer. Uh, Watchmen, uh, the 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 HBO series, which I thought was really really good, and like also the show uh, Succession. So definitely interested to see what else he's gonna pretty pretty good theatrical debut in, in my honest opinion and also this is based on the book erasure so if you are curious to check out after maybe you watch the movie or before you watch me you want to check out the book i'm, I'm actually uh, curious to check out the book myself but yeah very impressed with this chat totally understand why you have just uh so many people praising this why it's receiving all these nominations it definitely d deserves them like thinking back again you know i've been able to catch up on so many films uh from last year recently in the month of january and i know i put my top 10 list together and it's hard it's hard you know retroactively like what i what i push some of these other films out and i don't know i'm not sure but at the very least if it's if it's not in my top 10 that it is extraordinarily high extremely high on my list of honorable mentions though i can easily see this being on a lot of people's you know best of list for 2023 i i, I do think it's 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 that good but what wh what about you guys uh, did anyone had the opportunity to check out american fiction or, you know early in the year when it was at limited release or like recently now now that it has like a wide release i'm, I'm very very curious please let me know five minutes later moncton yeah <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yes, yes, for those that, uh, that don't know, uh, uh, Jeffrey Wright's character, Je Jeffrey Wright, <laughs> honestly, Jeffrey Wright looks like uh, my, my, my friend Martin from uh, Double Toast. You just put these two guys side by side, Chaz. It's like, I, I, don't, I don't know which one's which. <laughs> which, wh which one do I shoot? I don't know. <laughs> Who's the evil Martin? I'm not sure. A few moments later. I see some people complain about the family drama take some time away from the satire, but I thought it was, I, 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 uh, yeah, I, um, I thought it was very well balanced, personally. It's definitely the more serious aspect of the film, um, but I didn't mind it. 
especially when we were getting such great performances from the 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 cast that you know is that is the family, especially Ter Sterling K. Brown. So I didn't I didn't mind that at all. That didn't bother me. I think I think that actually worked a lot of the times, and it makes sense. And again, I think I think it makes. It, it provides an additional reason as to why Monk is the way he is. It's not just the bitterness of, of his profession and his lack of success because of things he doesn't wish to indulge in. It's al also his familial life has played a role into his like resentment. And I think that's very important. And we, we see a lot of that through well, certain reveals throughout the movie but also through his conversations with uh, Sterling K. Brown's character of Cliff, his, uh, his brother, who, again, I don't even want to say too much about, like, reveals with him, but also very good. So, yeah, I, yeah I, I, um, that's weird that people are complaining about that. Interesting.